Yesterday, I went to meet Dr. Johan Maré and his colleagues who provide support to saving the survivors. We met at an undisclosed location to work on a rhino with significant facial injuries. This rhino's injuries are very similar to Hope, having been hacked well below the growth plate, right up to the upper palate. You can see the exposed nasal passages. And the problem with infection due to flies and maggots is quite severe. We didn't know how to really deal with these wounds. Um, you know, they are these massive wounds that are created on the face. Uh, and what also makes it even more complicated is that it goes right into the, your paranasal sinuses, which actually gets infected. The other problem with these wounds are obviously that these are wildlife animals, so you can't bandage it, you can't put it on a long-term antibiotics, because you can't inject it every second or third day. You can't dress these wounds every third or fourth day like you would with a small animal or a horse or so on. Um, so how do you actually treat these animals? How do you give them antibiotics? How do you clear up the infection? How do you keep these wounds covered to prevent them from maggots and flies and all those kind of things? The wound was cleaned and the infected tissue was removed. The team are developing a technique to help the skin regrow over the wounded area. The idea being that stretching the skin over the area will cause it to grow in that direction. It involves applying a special glue over the entire area, which helps seal it from the environment, and then placing mounts with elastic bands to encourage the skin to move in the desired direction. This is a work in progress, and there are always apparent problems. When he woke up, he was a bit disoriented and managed to almost immediately dislodge the frontal mount. We hope that this process works. Thank you to Dr. Maria and his team for the amazing work that you do to assist these wounded animals. I know that it is heartbreaking and yet you carry on. The lessons learned from every incident will help other rhino in the future, but no matter what, we need to stop this poaching epidemic which is affecting our biodiversity.